We're going to build a wall. Hello everyone, Hello. as you can see here, I have Hybrid himself in the call, we are going to do an interview with the developer of Rise of Nations, actually the creator, um, why did you take this interview? Well, I was hit up by you in um, DMs, and uh, you wanted to do an interview with me, and uh, I have been getting a lot of backlash from recent updates, so I would like to do an interview to show my fans what I uh what my intentions are okay so first off i'm just gonna ask um why many people have been asking why did you ruin the electronics trading so can you please explain your thought process to sure, it? sure. yeah uh electronic trading was removed because of the fact that it created like a massive hole in the game's uh, balance where entire nations could be completely destroyed uh because of electronic shortages which would cause some nations to have trade away, uh, they have to trade away other important resources, or their nation would have to fall. This is why its replacement, the oil and electronics market building, was made. This building would provide a large amount of electronics and oil, while being a costly building, uh, but would never be so damaging to the country to where they would collapse because of shortages. Okay, so as you announced uh, new buildings, um. Will they be like? Will they be uh like? How how are they different from other factories? Because as you said, electronics market. How is it gonna be different from like factories in its own? In the electronics market, you will not be the one making the electronics. Rather, the companies will be the ones making them. If you are not a communist or a socialist country, now because of that reason, you will have to pay for them. However, it de uh, depending on what your uh laws are at you pay a different price and it also affects how those companies like view you right and if those companies are very against you they will produce less electronics but um it's really just like uh, we're gonna add a new like a uh, policy right not a policy but rather uh okay um not basically make it so uh, you can lower the taxes or increase the taxes on the companies. And if you lower the taxes, they will make a lot more electronics, but they will be more expensive. If you increase the taxes, they will make less electronics, but they will be less expensive. Okay, um, next question. A lot of community has been asking. You announced espionage updates being worked on roughly a year ago. Any updates on what happened? Like, what happened to the espionage? So, the espionage update is going to expand the spy network by a lot. Will add more type of missions, you'll be able to send them on. Uh, you'll be able to just send them on. One of the types is going to be where you can be assigned to a specific facility and sabotage a specific thing, whether it's a factory or a science building, etc. This update will also make building up a spy network much cheaper and add new buildings. Okay. Um, when do you plan on releasing this, or what's what's the planned release date? Well. As the main person working on this update, it's hard to pinpoint a release date, but in the future, I'm hoping to hire some developers to help finish the update faster. The plan is to get a majority of the code finished in December and then work on a balance update for the code in January and hopefully get it out in late February. Okay. And another question. Um, with all of this new uh, buildings, anything else you plan on adding? Yes. One of the features I plan to add to the game is some form of uh additional form of buildings one of them being the stock exchange uh this building will be able to be built a couple of times and we'll have the option to be able to trade stock the trading will cost a small amount of electricity and we'll give a small boost in resources based upon the performance of the stock over the course of the past month okay um another um now enough of your development life um do you have anything to talk about your your daily life I'm in a happy relationship. I'm also about to go to university. My hobbies are video game development, as I'm a very creative person, music, and I enjoy going out with friends. I like to especially draw maps. 
um another uh, question so yeah you're going to university um how much you know you don't have to answer this but how much money in usd do you make from resonations very good question um uh, i make last time i like released the game to now i have probably made around thirteen thousand dollars which i have been using to buy university equipment and continue to support my game development okay okay um what university do you go to i will be going to the university of guyana in my opinion it's the most prestigious university in my country though it may not be great compared to the world's best universities but going to be honest with you I plan on moving away from guyana one day perhaps to the uk okay um what do you major in I plan on majoring in computer science I already know knowledge and programming from learning Lua and uh, C++. I hope I can put these skills on the resignations framework as the framework is in C++. So you have three main games that actually have a player base. You have, uh, first off, you have Resonations, second of all, you have Neo Warfare X, and you have your Air game. And now you're going to university. How do you plan on balancing this? It's very difficult. My country is small. There are rarely any job offers available, so I decided to do full-time game development. And I got the luck of being able to make games that I enjoy and that people are willing to purchase. But I still do wish to go to university, as a, being a game developer is a very difficult thing to balance. Because I can often burn out very hard if there's too much to focus upon. Okay. What are your parents' opinions on you being a Roblox developer to pay the bills? My parents are happy to have me be a developer. My father has always been supportive of me, and I love him for that. But my mother isn't always so supportive. She worries about everything I do. Okay, so as you say this, um, you make more money than them combined, right? No. Actually, my father is a very successful man. He got lucky and became a large business owner in Guyana. He had taught me how to be a good developer. He taught me to program in C++ and how to become a more efficient programmer. He also taught me very important life lessons, which I'm very thankful about. Okay. Do you like the community player base on your games? The community are very passionate, and I've grown to adore it. It is what pushes me through my days. It is what gives me motivation. Sometimes it can get chaotic, but I don't mind it. Yeah, you would say like every game has that like chaotic um, player base, because Roblox is like majority kids, so... Uh, if you had to remove a country from your game, which one would it be? I guess it would be Greenland. Really? Not for the reason you may think. Okay. I actually we... love Greenland and the culture, but Greenland isn't really a powerful player. And in the new update, which will make large nations more powerful, as I intended to, a country isn't very powerful like Greenland, and it will be conquered extremely quickly once the change releases. All right, speed my resonations. Which ideology is the best? I do not intend. I do intend to not make a best ideology and balance out the nations better. But I suppose that capitalism would be more powerful than socialism because of the large amount of tax revenue a nation will be able to learn. This tax revenue will be able to fuel the nation for a long time. Okay, and in your opinion, you keep an eye on what the community does, right? Like yeah. YouTube, sure. events, players. Yeah. So, in your opinion, who is the best Rise of Nations player? Good question. I never really watched a lot of Rise of Nations playthroughs, but from the ones I have seen, there's this player called I Love Ron, and he has done very well at making multiple nations powerful very fast. Okay. So, you, I Love Rise of Nations. I mean, he's a pretty good player, I've seen him, but I, he has, he's been decking my 1v1s, so do you really think he's the best player? I think Kazoo might be a better player. However, that's me. That's me. Guys. That's me. Player. That's me, guys. Okay, what do you think about NRS Nation Rising Simulator? I find it amazing how spineless idiots such as Glubba can copy my games, and the fact that they are inspired by my games and manage to put out such a piece of dog shit is absolutely inspiring to me because it shows how much better I am than those people. Is that your actual opinions, or do you have like on the actual like honest no, words? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I find it amazing <laughs> to see how people are still making games inspired by my game, 
which I thought for a while was dead. I'm very glad to see people have been taken making games inspired by my game, and I do not wish to get into legal action against them. Some aspects of the game I don't really like, and I think some parts are too unbalanced, but I'm glad that people are making my game into something great. Good answer. Um, do you think your game is better than NRS? In my opinion, I find my game much more developed compared to it. Resonations had more features that were added over a longer period of time, while NRS was rapidly developed. There's a lot of cotton that I skipped out that I plan to add to make it a much more balanced game and just much more enjoyable in general. Okay. So as you said, you know the the, the developer of NRS, Glaba. Um, yes. What's your opinions uh, on, on Glaba? He is a very talented developer, and I think his game has a lot of creative ideas in it. I am actually planning to give Glaba an in-game statue slash tribute in Rise Nations Universe as I want to be supportive of him and his game. Um, from the YouTube scene, we have YouTubers like um um I think it's named I think it's like Connect, Sorry Aden, you got um yeah. Inrush, uh, you got many YouTubers. So in your opinion, you you got me of course. What do you think is the best Rise Nations YouTuber in your I, opinion? Listen, if if any of these guys were the best Rise Nations YouTuber, he would have gotten a hyper interview way longer before you. So, Obviously, I'm going to go with Kazu. <laughs> um, well, okay, I, um, I did not expect that answer. Um, anything else you would like to say about yourself? Like your hobbies? I have a very big ambition for the future. I hope I can leave my mark in the gaming industry with my games. I'm a very ambitious person. And so this has allowed me to bring my dream to the reality. So... As you just said that, actually, that's a big question. That's going to lead to my next one. Do you see yourself branching out of Roblox? Yes. Actually, I have plans to make my games with bigger game engines, such as the Real Engine or the Cry Engine. In fact, now I am working on a space game in the Unreal Engine. All right. So I'm going to ask two questions. The first one's going to be a bland, broad question. The second one's going to expand more on it. Are you, I, so, are you yourself racist? No, I am not. I support all peoples and cultures, and I believe diversity is a very important thing in games and in real life. It's what makes our world more unique and enjoyable. I love people from everywhere in the world, as I believe they have their own unique cultures and traditions. So, as you're the developer, the creator of Resonations and other games, um, how do you feel that your, most of your community is racist? To be honest, I'm very sad that this is true. When I decided to make my games, I never would think that people would be racist. And that makes me very sad. When making games, I strive to make a very friendly and open platform for people of all cultures and races to enjoy. I also plan to ban the people who are racist or toxic in my games. Alright, next question. Um, as you said, you're in a relationship. What is your sexuality? You I'm can... straight. I've been in a relationship with a girl for four years now, and has always been good. She is very caring and loving, and I always try to be the same to her, too. Um, okay, that's respectable. So, as you've seen the Rise of Nations diss track video, have you yourself watched it? Uh, the Rise of Nations diss track? Uh, y yes. Um, I have watched the video. Personally, the person who made it he is very bigoted, and uh, it has definitely offended me. I have tried to get that video removed many times. However, YouTube has not complied. It is very sad that that video is still up today. And whoever made that video is a very bad person. I'm speaking about rapping. Can you yourself make a rap short song yeah. about Resonations? Yeah, you know what? I'll make a rap right now. Off the brain, and it'll be better than the Rise of Nations this track. Oh, All right, you oh, ready? Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay right. let's go. Give me a beat. Give me a beat. Just like stop beatboxing or some shit. All right. Give me a beat. All Come right. on. All right, I'm I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get thirty two bars freestyle yeah, boom beat. Anything. Old, old school hip hop beat. Anything. Okay, just right from the end. Make this end quick. So you can get 20% off the entire Domino's menu when you order online. This is the beat I thought I was going to get. Alright, hey. My name is Hyperant. Yeah. Yo. Let's go. 
My name is Hyperain. I am the developer of Rising Nations. We will find many different powers. You can form your own alliances. You can have peace packs. You can conquer different cities. You fight for your nation's respect. Uh, is that, that it? Was, that was all. I'm gonna be really honest. I have respect for you, but that shit was ass. He an asshole. You, At least you... I tried uh, my best. I'm not a rapper. I'm more of a game developer. I tried my best, given that I've never rapped before. Bro, you give me some rap songs to listen to. I'm trying to replicate what they do in their songs. Bro, shit ass. Bro, I might just end it off here, bro. I might just block you, bro. Actually. What? Why Why should you block me? You, you asked me to rap some resonations. I did. I'm sorry my rapping is bad. Can, can we be friends again? I didn't think I'd be this shit, man. My ears are, like, bleeding. Okay, so... Um, as you keep an eye on the community, what is your opinions on the user Sportsman45? Sportsman is a veteran on my game. I believe that he is a great person and he loves what I make. I find that he has a lot of feedback on the game and it gives me time and day to try it out, which I appreciate greatly. What about me, Kezu? I believe that you are one of my most dedicated and supportive players. You're a very dedicated game and very passionate, as with any player. I was always happy to see you in my games, and you give a lot of great feedback. It helps to make my game better. You are How a great person, you... which I love. Okay, wow, I am, okay. How would you describe your friendship with Kezu? He's my best friend, actually. Yeah, I mean, you're my best friend, actually. Okay, cut this. <laughs> <laughs> We spend time playing and talking about ideas. He helps me make all my games and ideas to come true. I love him very much as my friend. All right, so as I, as I ask um, my friends like you and other people, this, uh, this just basic question, I've said this to you before, but just for the video, who, would you pref who do you prefer, Trump or Biden? I'm not American, unfortunately, so sadly my opinion may not be so valuable. I find my favorite to be Biden. He's friendly and he's trying to help people in America. Right, so as you just said that, um, what do you think about Kezu's mind, my intro I use in videos? Your intro? Uh, uh, your Trump intro, I do not like it, per se. Okay. That really hurts me, but can you um, explain why? Is that like a bad song? There's layers to this. Editing is garbage. You're... Okay, man. Stop. Man, come on. Come on, man. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. There's a lot of layers. Okay. Let's just, let's just end it off there. I'm, I'm just... Okay, so... I'm, I think that's all the time we have. It is 6 p.m. So I want to go ahead and just thank you. Fuck yourself. Okay, man. I, I'm going to... Seriously? Oh, look at me, look at me.